Hi, this is Al. Happy New Year. We hope your 2017 is going to be as happy and fruitful and joyful as 2016 was for us. We are especially excited about 2016 because in that year I think we achieved a lot more than we ever have in the history of the Open Institute with regard to um, citizen engagement and empowering citizens. In 2015, we met with Chief Kariuki and we talked about the SDGs that were just being launched at the time by the presidents um, in New York. And we had taken the position that the SDGs can only be successfully um, done if they were implemented village by village, county by county or state by state, and then upwards towards um, the nation and then upwards in the world. Um, there were a number of challenges that we identified at the time, including the fact that there wasn't enough data um, at village level and even the data that was there was, you know, not exactly representative because of the fact that, you know, the, our culture, um, at least in Kenya and certainly in many other parts of the world, is that data is collected by sample size. A small sample size is taken and then it's extrapolated um, to sort of presume uh, what the rest of the population feels like or is like or and so on. So that was one challenge. The second challenge was that you know, citizens generally um, don't get involved in matters development. They don't get involved in the decisions relating to priority and uh, needs assessment and so on. And uh, they often are only peripherally involved in things like uh, deciding what the priorities are for budgeting and for government projects and so on. They're very rarely involved. And so the one thing that we've been grappling with since the time the Open Institute started is how do we get citizens to actually you know, be there on hand, on, you know, on the ground to actually hold and the power to control um, the, all the way from the, you know, choosing what the priorities are all the way to um, figuring out how uh, projects are being done and whether they're being done successfully. It was wonderful that when we met with Chief Karaoke because we actually decided to pilot it and start it in Laneto Moja. So we met with Chief Karaoke and other administrators um, we told them about the SDGs and told them about data and the data revolution and what that means for their community. And then together we agreed that it's actually better if we meet with all of the community leaders. Now, Chief Kiryuki has organized his community such that um, there are 300 community leaders within um, his location. So we met up in a large classroom um, with all 300 community leaders, talked about data, talked about the SDGs, um, and it was great that they went to the extent of actually identifying that not all SDGs were useful to Laneto Moja and they even decided to select of, of their own, you know, which ones are important to them. Um, and they selected five of them. And then after that we said, you know, but, you know, for us to be able to know whether or not we're doing well in Lanet, we should collect data. Um, so we started trying to do it. At the time, we went to China and we bought a few, you know, feature f um, smartphones. They were completely unbranded. They're just, you know, very basic phones. And we gave them out to the community and said, well, we put in the ODK Collect, um, which is, um, you know, a data collection application that's open source. And we said, let's go collect data and see how it goes. It didn't work very well. We struggled a bit. Um, the phones were really, really bad. I mean, they were really, really, really bad. Um, so that didn't work out very, very well. And uh, ODK, we found out, had its own limitations. So um, we, at some point, had to revert to collecting some of the data with paper for some of the population and so on. But overall, we were able to collect data on health, security, education, um, spending, um, poverty, um, agriculture, food, and several other things. We're able to do a mini census for all households in Lanet. Now, according to um, the census of 2009, um, and you know, with you know, with all censuses, they they sort of try and um, and extrapolate what the numbers are going to look like. The census of 2009 puts the households in Lanet Moja at 7,500, and the population at about 29,000 people. Um, the economists suggest that even if Lanet had grown very, very much, they didn't see it going beyond um, 8,500 to 9,000 people. What we found is that there were 12,000 households in Lanet and that there is close to 50,000 people there. In fact, because we counted each single human being, 
in Lanetu Moja. We now are able to tell you, or rather Chief Kiduki is now able to tell you, the precise households that have uh, WC, um, he's able to tell you the precise households that have mosquito nets. He's able to tell you which farmers are, are rearing goats and which ones are planting cabbages. He's able to tell you in very granular detail what each household is like. He's able to take you to those households because of the fact that they're all on a map. And he has a dashboard through which um, he's able to contact all the households. So it's, it basically was building upon his, his um, outreach uh, using Twitter. Um, having done that, um, we then took it forward and did some analysis of the data. And we found that um, there were very interesting narratives being told. So we took those uh, back to the community and allowed them to sort of analyze them and review them and so on and so forth. And then in December, we had this meeting where we invited the county government, um, other administrators, uh, you know, other senior administrators from Nakuru County um, to come and take a look at what the data says. It was wonderful to see the debates that were being held um, by these leaders and by the community. It was wonderful to see the community actually talking back to um, the leaders and saying, look guys, this is what we need. These are our priorities. These are the things that we want to see pass in, in, the, in the next budget um, for 2017-2018. It was just wonderful to see how animated the community was about the issues relating to their community and about uh, what they wanted to achieve. It is so empowering even for us to just see that all of those trips that we made, we actually made 42 trips last year to uh, Laneto Moja from Nairobi. It's about two hours away. In all of these trips, we were so excited to see that they were very different people from when we met them um, back in January of uh, 2016 and what they have now become um, in 2017. So we're looking forward now to replicating that experience in four other locations over the next three months or so. We're going to be going to four other locations and we'll be telling you all about it um, to try and make sure that, uh, you know, we uh, take the learnings that we have, we have taken from Lanet and try and implement the project in four other locations. We'll be telling you all about it and if you feel that you want to be involved, if you feel that there's something that you have to offer, if you feel that you have some time and you want to just come with us to uh, Nakuru County and spend some time with us uh, and the community, feel free. We've been so happy to see so many organizations get interested in the work that we're doing and we are so grateful to Civicus, to Hewlett to Foundation, um, to development initiatives and many others who have literally just come and uh, you know played a small part or a big part um, in trying to make sure that uh, our work uh, goes well. Um, with Civicus what we've done is that we've partnered with them um, specifically to focus on the gender aspect, SDG number five. We're working with the community there, um, the, the women groups there, to collect data that specifically relates to them. And then this year, they're going to be doing the analysis around, um, you know, some in-depth analysis around their issues. And they're going to be figuring out how to engage the rest of the world with regard to um, women issues in Laneto Moja. Keep it locked. We're going to tell you all about it. It's going to be a great year and we hope that you're going to be with us. www.openinstitute.com is our website. Hello at Open Institute is our email address. Please give us a call. Let's talk. Thank you. Thank you.